This level, I'm actually particularly happy with um, how this one came out as well. This one, I was really kind of hitting my stride here. Look at all of those. This was Castlevania music from Symphony of the Night. That um, pixel art there is the vampire bat. And then look at that. You can even see Alucard up there, right? You guys can see Alucard up there in the top, top left, right? We got Alucard. We got some crosses up there, right? This is the Marble Gallery from uh, Castlevania Symphony of the Night. This translated to Mario Maker very well, IMO. Whoops. Whoops. Oh my goodness. Ah, oh, that's a no bounce. I tried to do a re-grab there. That didn't work. Using the semi-solids kind of evolved naturally in Mario Maker 1 because you ran out of ground tiles, so you had to find ways to try and use semi-solids to make your levels look pretty when you didn't have ground tiles left. Oh yeah, an SMM1 all the time. So yeah, that's the second half. And then I tried to put a boss fight in here with mixed results. get the boot, and then you wait, and then you jump, and then you die because you missed the boo. And this was another neat setup in Super Mario Maker 1. You could put a shoe Goomba in a note block, put a spike immediately underneath it, and the shoe Goomba would spawn out of the note block kill the enemy but still drop the boot you see how that dropped a boot that had no enemy in it this was a very nice setup uh in S super mario maker one i used it in the calithon level as well you can't do that in mario maker 2 now and so see that just spawned another boot there for me and then after you do that you get the key but then you have to jump and hit the pow here to clear the door. And then you see how the contraction was done. And there we go. <clears throat> and I'm that level was made on stream as well as I started streaming. 